Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Laneside Reviews and on this episode we're going to be looking at Brunswick's brand new better than urethane ball, the BTU Pearl. Alright guys, so welcome back. As always, I'm the Bearded Beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And as we said, we're looking at Brunswick's brand new, better than urethane, the Fanatic BTU Pearl. Now for those of you who threw the original BTU, you know how it was an awesome ball you could go to, especially when they dried up. But some people thought it was still just a tiny bit too strong to be that urethane reaction. Well, Brunswick, listening to the public, went back and actually created this pearl version to give you the exact motion that you want. So why don't you tell us a little bit more about it, Scoops? It has the original cover, mm -hmm. just pearlized, in a beautiful silver pearl. Yeah, it's really nice. It's pretty. Um, it's got the same low RT core. Yep. Um, it's got more length, and it's also faster response. Yeah. Um, it is still better than urethane. Yeah, if, now if you were to shine this up, it's going to be super clean and roll for days. What they did is they actually took this ball, made it a little longer. It seems, in my opinion, that the hook, if they br had a break point at the same point, would probably be the same, but because it's so much cleaner and goes down so far there, it gives you that little uh, easier to control motion and makes it more versatile than the original. But rather than listening to us talk about it, why don't we take it lane side and see how it's stacked up. All right, guys, here is Wayne Porter, our speed dominant player. He's bowling like Kegel Main Street oil pattern. Uh, now, one of the things we did with this, we know that a better than urethane or urethane ball isn't really designed for fresh yeah. house shot. So we actually took our Main Street oil pattern and we bowled on it a little bit before we tested it so we could really see what this ball did. We beat it up. And man, does this ball perform. Yeah. Uh, you can watch. Wayne displaying nice and easy, just as normal shot. Like we said, we broke this shot down. Yeah. It's not on a fresh. It's beat up. Uh, but it looks high like. high-end ball, but he's playing it just normal. Yeah. Yep, just, he's in his regular zone, yeah. which he would have to move away from if he used yeah. a big ball. Now, one thing we noticed, wow. and you can see the pin carry there. Yeah. This ball sounds different when it yeah. hits the pins. It hits like a truck. Oh, yeah. I was, like, surprised. I'm like, did they do anything different? It's like, nope, same cover, same core, you know. Yeah, it's just a pearlized, pearlized version, yeah. but for some reason, the pearl, wow, does it make it yeah. hit harder. <laughs> now, uh, here you are playing it, and just like before, you're in that area, that bread and butter area. Yeah, a little straight, Yep. down and in, but that's where I want to be able to play if I have to go to a, a urethane or a low-end ball when the lanes break down. I oh, want to yeah. keep it straight, down and in, just more power. Like, oh, especially if you're moving to a sport yeah. shot, a short yes, pattern. Exactly. This is the area that you're going to have to yeah. play in. And, I mean, you're making it look silly. Yeah. Now, the one thing I personally wasn't a fan of the BTU, the original, not that I didn't like the ball. Yeah. The, the drawback I found is that it was too much like urethane. Yeah. It rolled very early for me off my hand. Where It was very strong. Pearlized cover stock. I just could throw it nice and easy, yep. natural. I didn't have to break my wrist or anything. It just—it was beautiful. Just comes off my hand, goes down the lane, and boom. Pocket. And you can see over the last couple of shots, you're yeah. you're getting it out of the friction there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. it's coming back. Yeah. It's not blowing straight no. through, which but you would see with a regular urethane ball. Exactly. Ball. Yeah. Now here I am, and you can see. Looky, looky! I'm in my regular area. Yeah. And that sucker performs down lane. Oh yeah. Now that definitely, I was expecting on that shot, I was expecting to leave a 10 pin. You could see that 6 pin go in front of yeah. it, but it had so much energy coming back off, it just blew it out. Yeah. It's again, Boom, it's a four little pin high. high. Yeah. yeah. This thing, if I didn't know better, I would swear it was a quantum. Yes, exactly. Because <laughs> it had that sound and it has yeah. that hitting power. And look at it, you can I'm see just, it just wow. comes out, boom. Boom, yeah, just amazing. It's just... 
it has that energy, which is another thing that people say when they throw urethane balls. Like when we did the Grizz. Oh, God. Uh, that ball hit like a Look, huge. I'm, I'm throwing it straight. Yeah. And once again, it's <laughs> versatility. versatility. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what I mean. This is out of the box cover. We haven't tweaked it or yep. changed it or anything like that. It's just got a nice float to it and just amazing now back I'm, end. Now I'm swinging it. Yeah. This is a versatile urethane piece that doesn't roll straight out of your hand. It's perfect. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for another show. If you like what you saw this episode and want to find out more, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Laneside Reviews or click below. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel or click on the box. Or and if you missed our last video or just want to watch it again, you can click on the other box. And don't forget you can pick up any of the jerseys you see in our videos by using this coupon code at LogoInfusion.com. So until next time, guys, we'll see you Laneside.